Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASTM C617, Standard Practice for Capping Cylindrical Concrete Specimens. This video demonstrates capping a hardened concrete cylinder with sulfur. Bring the sulfur to a temperature of 265 to 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Inspect the capping plate for gouges, grooves, or indentations. Dry and clean the ends of the cylinder. Remove any materials that may interfere with the bond of the cap. Correct any point that exceeds an eighth of an inch along the plane that is perpendicular to the cylinder axis. To do this, you will need an eighth of an inch feeler gauge and a square. Place the square along the cylinder axis as shown. Now use the eighth of an inch feeler gauge to check across the perpendicular plane. If the eighth of an inch feeler gauge passes between the cylinder and the square, the cylinder end must be corrected. Warm the capping plate. This can be done by placing it in an oven or by warming it with hot sulfur. Add mineral oil or grease to the capping plate. Stir the sulfur thoroughly before applying the cap. Ladle the sulfur into the capping plate and form the cap on the specimen by lowering the cylinder into the sulfur while holding it against the alignment device. Apply pressure to maintain alignment until the sulfur has hardened. Once hardened, remove the specimen from the capping plate. Check plainness of caps on at least three specimens daily, making checks across three different diameters. These checks should represent the start, middle, and end of the capping run. Check the plainness of the cylinder using a straight edge and a 0.002 inch feeler gauge as shown. Also check for hollow areas. Protect the cap specimen from drying by covering with a double layer of moist burlap or by returning to a moist room. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.